Right, well, hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Quick update on Manchester United, I'm going to be talking about Amarim potentially coming in, my thoughts on that, the potential of him, and I delve deep into more talking Manchester United, and that's really going to be the main point of this video, so don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new, and let's get straight into it. So, it came in from the Athletic, obviously we got the news that Eric Ten Hag was sacked early on, um, and reports have come out, people thought it would be the Oli Nagelsmann, and we've had some big development on Ruben Amarim that Manchester United are in talks to appoint Ruben Amarim as permanent head coach. Expe expectation that the deal with Sporting Lisbon can be concluded quickly. The compensation fee, €10 million, Euros, not seen as an obstacle. Amarim is open to the switch. This came from Fabrizio now, the first part was from The Athletic. Ruben Amarim is among the candidates to be Manchester United's next manager. At the moment, he is not opening the door to sign this season. United appreciate his leadership skills, so it could be, um, like we could even we couldn't even get Amarim this this season. We could get him at the start of next season with a pre agreement and kind of have Ruben this story or another head coach until the summer. That's fine. Um, I think Ruben Amarim it does certainly look like the manager we can get. He's open to joining Manchester United and he's someone who is confident and has a very good ability. He plays a three at the back system at supporting the top of the league there. He's already won a league. He'll play a three um four one two system. I'll talk about what his team would look like. Um but listen, ultimately for me I'm very, very happy. Listen, where Eric Ten Hart's got sacked, you have to immediately look at the replacement and the fact that Ineos, I think I've already had this lined up. That's why it's is a move that's developing so quick. It was absolutely fantastic. I think he is a very, very good manager, a young modern day manager with the three. Um um, with the way that he plays a modern manager will be a huge success at Manchester United if it happens a perfect club for him to replicate what he's done at Sporting get an underperforming club back to the top with Pep leaving soon club gone perfect timing like very very good manager um, for me as I said he's doing so well at Sporting um, yeah he's got that aura about him Um. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Ruben Amra, George Mendes recommended Ruben Amra to the club, which is where the initial interest stemmed from. Has verbally agreed to become the Manchester United manager. Listen, a very good, as I said, modern manager. Plays that modern football, the modern brand that Manchester United need. I think he is that perfect manager to take Manchester United forward. Now, as I said, it's not looking like it be this season. It's looking like it be towards the end of the season. But again, I'm very positive. I'm confident he can become a big manager. And again, it's all about backing him, getting behind him. Listen, it might not start off tough. So I think he's that manager to take us forward, definitely. And I think he will be able to do that with flying colours. And listen, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, listen, I'm not saying it was the wrong decision. Um, but again, it's a decision that had to be made. I think Amarim, as I said, is that manager for the future. Um, and I think he will have a big impact on this Manchester United team. He's stylistically similar to Eric Ten Hag transition. He's extremely vertical, passing intensely, big personality difference out. Um, Amarim, very characteristic. Listen, he's fantastic, I think, for me. Listen, all I've seen so far is fantastic. Um, positive manager. But listen... There'd be certain players that Amarin might not like, and he might change the way. You could see some of the key players that Manchester United fans have kind of been built off the last few years be benched. Yeah, and that, like, yeah, Amarin for me is that manager. And let me talk about his predicted team. He plays a four two, a three four two one sort of system. Um, in terms of Manchester United, it would probably be Onana in goal. I think he could go with the back three of Martinez, Dillit and Yoro. I think Martinez and Yoro and Dillit will suit that back three role fantastically. Um, and absolutely fantastically well. Um, I think the wing, wing backs, he'll definitely have the low for now. I think we will go out and turn a left back, but for now, assuming that he's using this squad, would probably be Masrari and Delo as the high full backs getting involved in the attacking sort of play. And then I think he'll have two in behind, which would be Bruno Fernandes um, or two in midfield. It would definitely be Kobe Mainu and obviously Ugarte, who he's worked for. And then so that's the, the four. And then the two, three, four. Yeah, and then the two ahead would probably be Bruno. Um, well, what, three, four, 
two, one, yeah. So the two behind would probably be like Bruno and Garnacho, and then you probably have like Hoyland up front. I think it's definitely a very good team. It's very open to joining Manchester United with immediate effect. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and ultimately, a very, very good manager and will have a big impact. Um, for Manchester United, I'm sure of that. But listen, this has been my reaction. I'm a remiss close for Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts, like, subscribe, and peace.